What the fuck happened here? Bro, I... Uh... 5k a day? <laughs> I don't know, man. I yoroed a little bit, um, <laughs> like in May. I saw that like one of the new creators I was testing was performing like quite good. Mm -hmm. It's like fucking launch two CBOs and it went crazy from that. <laughs> Good stuff. So how long has that been going on? The uh, whole of June has been over 4K a day. And then like half is far over 5K and then half of them is like 4.5K. And then mm -hmm. overall like 18% profit. So it's pretty, pretty decent. Good stuff. So is it like over 1K a day in profit consistently? Uh, a little bit less, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, um, like uh, about one k. Then we have a few bad days, but but yeah, like, around one k. Like it's amazing. It's, it's amazing, crazy. Amazing. <laughs> Already five k <5K> this month. <laughs> insane, insane. Um, no, happy for you, bro. You deserve it. Um, Thank you, man. <laughs> but yeah, like I mean, actually, let's let's keep this all in. Um, yeah, what absolutely. was the main changes? What like what's what did you do? All creative work. Yeah. Like um in the desaturation really hit in April, like big time. Like <laughs> everybody was jumping on this product, so so it's getting quite air fatigue and saturation. Mm -hmm. Um so I just went complete madness with the creative testing. Uh it tested like five to six, seven creatives a day for like a month or something. Mm -hmm. Um and yeah, now finally things are starting to pick back up. So wait, okay. So so let's let's walk through that. Um, it started yeah. to dip, yeah. And then you started testing creatives. Yeah, like I, <laughs> like that was the stupid thing. I I um I didn't listen good enough. Uh, you told me to to start testing creatives, mm -hmm. um, but for some reason I didn't start early enough. Um. Yeah, but but then you hit, <laughs> but but then at least when it started to dip, you started to panic a little bit, yeah, and then yeah, you're like, yeah, all right, yeah. now I went, now I, I need crazy. to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Um, and let's 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 go through that process. So how like how did you test them? How many? How like for how long? Yeah, sure. Um, well, first of all, I was getting the content from you know different influencers on Instagram. I work with. I work pretty closely with five influencers now, which give me like refreshed content every week. And yeah, then I just like, I edited five creatives a day. Like there was, most of my days was just spent on, on creating creatives mm -hmm. and then creating a new campaign, five creatives with my best performing interest and then see whatever works like yeah. and scale, scale with those. And, and some and, of them are, are still working now. Some of them are mm -hmm. working for like a few weeks. And some of them, of course, didn't work at all. <laughs> if, if, if you would have to guess, how many did you test? I think I've tested 160, maybe 165 <laughs> creatives past like a little over a month, maybe. Not bad. But like not a, bad. A, a big, big, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some okay. of them similar and then some of them mm -hmm. very, very um, different from the original ones I, I created. Mm -hmm. And how many of those actually worked? Damn, that's a low percentage. Um, mm -hmm. Out of 160 creatives, I think I'm still running with like that, that's performing better than the ones I, I, I ran with with the, in from the start. Like maybe mm -hmm. eight or something. Yeah, the, normal. Something like the, this, yeah, this is yeah. how it should look. Okay, yeah, and yeah. those maybe, eight maybe are actually seven. performing at least as good as the previous ones or better. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. Uh, even. Uh, Exactly the same or better performance. Nice. Well, well yeah, uh, this is exactly what you get for for putting in that amount of work. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, if you if you if you test 160 creatives, it, the the chances of your product getting saturated after that is not the highest. Um, but maybe let's 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 walk through the numbers. Um, you can maybe share your screen and we can go through it. So this is today. Are we having mm -hmm. a kind of slow day today. <laughs> <laughs> And this is the month of June already. Yeah, so we're uh, here. We have it's the seventh, um, yeah. and it's basically, yeah. So every day consistently over four. Obviously, today is also going to be over four, but it's not yeah, yeah. Uh, not done. Probably with the get day. to like five today, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe let's select a little bit of a bigger time frame and yeah. see how the scaling went. How uh, how much do we want? Let's do full first, and then since we last talked, I don't know when that was. So let's do year to date. Yeah. All right. Not bad. Not bad. So <laughs> um, it should hit 
yeah for sure it's gonna hit 100k this month um yeah sure. it will for so, sure for sure yeah, yeah yeah okay so when was it when we last talked was it february middle of yeah, march something i like think that? it was right after my 50k month yeah february early march mm -hmm. we talked yeah yeah so for you what what changed since then um besides the creatives was it much or was it literally only the creatives yeah actually just my creatives yeah and then more like i've been really focusing on trying to create this like brand mm -hmm. around it like mm -hmm. with different influencers like uh, some like so we are present on social media yeah with with influencers so so that's mm -hmm. also what i focused on but that's actually it yeah so with the people um do some of them like do you generate a lot of sales through the people or is it mostly just ads mostly ads like let's say i do a shout out most some of them are, are quite good actually but um mm -hmm. let's say i do a shout out with a person with like 10k followers like a story and a and a, and a post they'll mm -hmm. maybe generate like five sales or something like it's yeah not not, much. not yeah. <laughs> no 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 not at all not at all yeah okay um and obviously the the conversion rate is very high average order value is not real how much is it in reality uh 21 21 yeah. point okay. something mm -hmm. uh, the, the, past, try... the past the past like uh, one and a half months it's do you try increasing price yes i have done a little bit um i haven't tested higher yet uh but I, it seems I a little bit too high for me. It. Yeah. It's, yeah, it yeah. seems too high. Like seven point four and three hundred fifty k. Yeah. <laughs> you should, you should, you should, uh, you should have a higher price because that's too high of a conversion. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. But um, what about the profits? Like, how how are the profit margins on this? I'm gonna just show you. What I have here. So yearly now we are at nineteen point five, but that's also mm -hmm. because of like these two months where I was just you know spam testing. Mm -hmm. and 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 april just being bad in general because of ad fatigue and saturation yeah um, um i'm ah 19 percent not 19k i was confused yeah 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 19 percent and then like 667 k yeah i mean not bad not bad um going the right direction definitely especially with two lower months and those two months what what was the issue there there the, the ad fatigue hit and also you spent a lot of money on testing new creatives or what was it yeah that was the, like i was spending Let's say I spend like um, I don't know how much I spend a day on these days, like around eight hundred, seven hundred a day. Um, mm -hmm. like thirty percent, thirty-two percent was maybe new creatives. Like I, because I could mm -hmm. just see like every single day my CPC on my original creatives was getting higher, like it so yeah. so fast. Um, yeah, I mean this is a very good learning here. First of all, you you see here like you made like one point four k last month and then is it 1.4 or 14? 14 14 14 ah okay never mind okay yeah so that's fine um basically only one month was over like below 10k yeah um, uh, also the first January. month it's just yeah yeah before before we scaled so 6k yeah. 15 17 8 9, so 10, 9 14 and now we have the seventh and it's already 5k so maybe we, we will hit the the 20k month um, I am hoping, aiming for 25k this month. <laughs> yeah, nice, nice, nice. Good stuff, good stuff. Um, from testing all of the creatives, what kind of things did you notice? Like, what did well the most? What didn't? Was it the more similar ads to the winner? Was it was it completely random stuff? Was it did you not see a pattern? What happened? Like to be honest, uh, this product is in a very passionate niche, so. Um, taking something even more passionate in the niche and creating like a i don't know if the, how to say it in english but <laughs> like focus on one part of the niche mm -hmm. and creating a creative uh, around that niche down so yeah yeah down. yeah that's yeah that's what i'm trying to say that worked mm -hmm. uh, really well but those creatives got really fatigued really fast yeah so they maybe sense. work like for like maybe one and a half week two weeks and then the customer mm -hmm. purchase was just skyrocket mm -hmm. um but yeah that's kind of the thing that worked and then having like a more emotional um, scroll stopper, like where you see like some kind of issue. That's that's what really worked for this. Uh... Would you say your product is problem solving or not? To some degree, <laughs> uh, but not it, not really. Like it's not a really pain yeah. point, but but mm -hmm. um, it's a mix. It is... But you can make pain points in it. Exactly, like it... exactly, yeah, yeah, exactly. So I can exactly. come up with a, mm -hmm. a pain point which is kind of relevant but yeah like 
if I didn't tell them, they wouldn't think of it. <laughs> Make, makes sense. Makes sense. Um, and obviously, you, you've been working very closely with my brother in terms of all the creatives. Um, what were the biggest learnings there? Like in, in specifically about the creators, like how to actually make them, because obviously he told me like you guys optimize them a lot. And it was like a lot of back and forth of making them good. I think me and me and your brother talk like every single day for like a few weeks or something. Um, yeah. But yeah, just like this whole like creating a good scripts and, and creating a a creative with like um, like a great storyline uh, mm -hmm. was probably the biggest learning curves from from your brother. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I think that's how, it. how do you do that? Like, what, what were the like, let's let's take the, the first ad you sent him, which was terrible, versus the last ones, which are good. So, what's what, like, what did you do better in terms of making a good story and and then all of that? Like, the first creatives I created on my own was basically just like a text and then a benefit. Like, mm -hmm. this is great, this is self A, self B, <laughs> but now it's more like a storyline where like a person talks about the product and and whatever uh, and and in in certain contexts mm -hmm. so it's yeah it's much more of a story now okay okay um yeah those are the things which are basically better because i'm seeing a lot of ads which are like look at this product and it's so amazing and it's like <laughs> cool but what what does that even say <laughs> what does that mean it doesn't really say anything it's not it's it's not making the product better if you just say it's better you know yeah so um it's more of a thing where you actually package a story of a person who experienced your product and had a really good thing with it so um yeah like i i see you, you showed me a few of the creators and th they th that's basically what they do is basically exactly. um talking about like personal experiences with a product and how it benefited them and how all the other products are kind of shit in comparison so exactly yeah that that's basically that's basically the main things on the on the creatives and even with that you still tested 160 to have yeah. eight good ones which <laughs> yeah, is yeah. might sound shocking to a lot of people but it's really not it's very normal like this is something which is super common like product fatigue is something which seems to be a, the case way too early and a lot of people think that their product is saturated before actually doing what you did and when you do what you did, you're going to see it's not product fatigue, it's ad fatigue. And ad fatigue is very easy to fight by just testing a shit ton of ads. Um, and like, what was the process of reaching out and all of that? Like, because that's very annoying. So how, like, how was, how, how did you do that? Uh, <laughs> to be honest, in the beginning, I did it all by myself. And that was like, probably the worst thing. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, because that's, you can only send a certain amount of DMs on Instagram a day before Instagram yeah. stops you from sending them. So mm -hmm. I I bought one account with like a bunch of followers, DM'd on that one, and I had my other account, DM'd on that one. Uh, so I had like two to three accounts just, just sending DMs to, to random people mm -hmm. in the niche. So, um, but now, like, th this is the funny part. People are starting to DM me for collaborations. Like, that's mm -hmm. pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because all of those influencers in a niche kind of follow each other, and they just see that um, obviously... They, they see some of their friends, some somebody they know is getting paid from you. And exactly. um, it just makes sense to then DM you and basically get get the, the, the money as well. Um, and yeah, uh, for for the, the whole creative testing, um, I think it's, it's basically just volume and also obviously volume only after you truly understand what a good, good creative is, is. Because yeah. if you start testing bullshit and just put volume on bullshit, it's like likely to not work as well. That was um, what I did in the beginning. Like uh, the mm -hmm. first maybe 10 creatives I tested was like basically just a copy of my original one, but worse. Like because I just wanted to test something. And, and, and mm -hmm. so, so yeah, like it doesn't, if you just put volume in, it don't really matter, but they have to be really good yeah. creative still <laughs> yes for sure for sure for sure um that's also something which which i've seen a lot where if you do <coughs> your own content um it's gonna be very easy 
to kind of get lost in it and start thinking that you must make that creative work. And I've seen that a lot where people are overspending on an ad, which they did just because they did it. They think I did it. It means that it has to perform better. But in reality, if they their filming ability is worse than what is already out there, it's going to perform worse, no matter if you did it by yourself or not. So UGC, new creative, all of those things, it's, it's literally like from from the results you're gonna have better results literally stealing ads than doing shit creatives because the solid ads already perform exactly. um so so obviously that's not an advice i give you and you you did it the right <laughs> way by, by creating good creatives but um yeah that's that's that so for you like how how does it feel now obviously when we talked last it was kind of a thing where it just started to become good but now you are like averaging over 10k profit a month for for yeah. a while now so how does that feel now like it feels really, really, really good, and I'm really proud of what we have created. Um, but like the worst thing is, like, and and I I realized this last month. Um, for some reason, you get a little bit lazy. Like you don't have the same power output as I had in the beginning when I when the first products just launched. Like I was grinding every day, up early, and mm -hmm. when you start to make money, you get lazy. Yes. So I'm struggling a little bit with that. Like that, that's, mm -hmm. that's, that's the thing. Um, other than that, like you still want to, like now I am more confident that I can do this again with another mm -hmm. product mm -hmm. and another product and just like do this full time, basically. Yeah. You, you, you're still not doing it full time, huh? No, 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 not yet. <laughs> why, why, why is that? I don't know. Like I, 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 I like my job a little bit some reason <laughs> so so like well uh, fair enough fair enough if you like it go ahead yeah like it's i'm i'm i scale down a lot so it's like maybe eight hours a week now six hours a week uh, okay. so it's just like it's just more fun. something it's not yeah, fun yeah 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 uh, yeah no, okay that's that makes sense that makes sense and um do you want to keep that for like for the long term like this uh, i think like um this is also what I have to talk with you after this. Like my brother is is uh, um, finishing school in a few weeks, so he will join me in this journey, nice. and he will do the TikTok organic part, so I can mm, very only good. focus on on Facebook, and he can do the TikTok organic part at the same time. Um, so we are gonna go full time when he exits school. When is that? Uh, like the twentieth of June, so like two weeks. All right, that's very good news, actually. That's very, yeah, yeah. very good. That's news. gonna be it's gonna be crazy. Yes, yes. Um, he he obviously sees the whole thing, which which is happening to you. How is the how are, how are the reactions now for from other people? Like a lot of people are really like they think it's really 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 cool now, and mm -hmm. they ask for like advice and stuff. They still don't. I don't think most of them believe it. Like a hundred percent, even though I showed them the numbers yeah. and and, mm -hmm. and my bank accounts and stuff. But but um most people are supportive now more than anybody in the beginning mm -hmm. yeah yeah did, did you see more people who want to start um drop shipping as well now yeah a lot of people ask me like how do i start where, where should i start how uh, do like, you handle that i tell them it uh because for some reason they get this idea that it's pretty easy to do yeah mm -hmm. and i tell them like it's a lot of commitment like it's not you don't do just do it on the weekends and it will work. Nah, like it's it's you gotta show up every day for it. <laughs> mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. most of people are like okay, then it's not for me. Does it scare people away? Because yeah. I had a little bit of a different experience, where like yeah, it, it scares so people away already when you tell them that it's gonna take a lot of work. Yeah, because I tell them like how much I do and what I did in the beginning, like you mm -hmm. know creating creatives. I don't. And also not taking Sundays and Saturdays off, like still working there. Um, yeah, so so most of them are getting like scared away from it. Got it. Well, interesting because for me, what my experience was was uh, people only get scared away from it after trying a little bit. Like they do watch some videos and try like try to get a little bit of a better understanding, and then they truly also understand that it is what I already said. But from me just saying that it's going to be a lot of work. Um, I I didn't experience too many people who, who were just like, oh, it's too much work, so I'm not going to do it. 
It's like, yeah, sure, sure, I'm, I'm, I'm still gonna do it. <laughs> but then they see this actually work, and then they stop. Yeah. Um, so that's more what I've seen. But yeah, um, for you, what are the 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 goals moving moving on from now? Let's say for the next, like until the end of the year. Yeah, we, I got I got pretty clear goals for this year. Um, first of all, we gotta do I don't know how much that is in the US. One point five in US, like a million, is is mm -hmm. my end goal not on this store but in general mm -hmm. um and then it's how much that is that in yeah uh, i think that's like around 300k us profit mm -hmm. and in yeah i guess because i'm calculating i got it written down in danish kronos on my on my whiteboard <laughs> yeah like a giant productivity hack uh, by the way like a whiteboard really yeah 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 bro that is uh, writing down oh, top f five things a day to do okay. on your mm -hmm. whiteboard. Completely life hack, but 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 yeah, like uh, 1.5 million revenue and then 300k profits, and then mm -hmm. I want to buy my little brother Rolex for Christmas this year. Hey, nice, that's that's nice. that's my my goals for for this year. Very good. Is that the brother who's starting? Who's yeah, 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 yeah. Well, well, he he should buy it from organic this year. A hundred percent. He's, uh, yeah, he's been my uh, been working as my VA like the past few months, mm -hmm. like doing all the mm -hmm. boring tasks. So I know he's a hundred percent committed as well to do it. Nice, nice. Yeah. Um. Well, you're you're also gonna gonna see it's gonna be a completely new world when when you start the organic um stuff. But I'm seeing it more and more, and I've, I've started also pushing it pushing it much more in the program. Um. Like because because it's organic is just so good, especially if you combine it. Like if 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 you already know the ad stuff and you do organic as well, because you kind of have two full time people, it's it's perfect. Yeah, um, that's what we also like. Thought of it would be be crazy. <laughs> yes. For sure, for sure. Um, what else? Like, what would you say is kind of the, the 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 main advice you would give to a person who um is testing, but things are either not working or are dying down after it starts to work? Like, what's what's the main thing here? Let's say it's a new beginner. Like, let's let's take me for example. Back in the day, an advice I would give myself um, when you test products and and nothing is really working, get someone to look. At the the things you do, like mm -hmm. like I I I don't want to sell Michael's program in this interview, but 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 like that's for me that's the only reason why I made money. Uh, so get someone to help you and look over your shoulder, and make sure you're doing the right things because you couldn't know and you you it would cost a lot of money to learn why and and what you're doing wrong. Yeah, yeah. The the thing is. Exactly what you said with the creatives, for example, where you push a lot of volume and in terms of creatives, but it just does not work. That's not uncommon at all with creatives, but also with with product where you test a lot of product, but all of them suck or or something else sucks where you test constantly the wrong thing and you put in volume, you're doing the right thing by just taking action, but you're not doing the right thing and taking action in the right way. So um I've seen those type of people are are the easiest to work with. Like if you already tested like 25 products and nothing works, it is so simple to work with you because I know you're going to test a shit ton of things with me as well. We just tweak it until like, so, so you test the right things and done, you know, um, yeah. those are like my, my favorite, favorite, favorite plans. Um, but it's, it just comes down to, to those two things, take action, and do it the right way it's it's exactly. nothing else but also the the taking action part is actually big because you you just phrase it in a way where um you just do what i tell you and it works but it's like you also have to do a lot of things obviously it's it's not as easy um oh so... yeah yeah of course you still have to, to do a lot there's still a lot to yes. do but it's just yes. it's just easier to know what to do when a guy who has done it before like knows exactly what to do in the situation yes. so yes. so yes. so yeah exactly and you're, you're like for for everybody who thinks about like starting the program and if you like watch this far i assume there's some thought that, that you want to start <laughs> it's like it's not just me like for you for example the i would assume the biggest help for the last month with my brother which just did all the creative stuff because that's what you needed and yeah. i'm not going to pretend like i'm the best at organic or creatives or stuff like that because 
I have better people in the team who are doing that, like my brother, like people for like Jacob for organic as much like he's he's crushing it on organic. We have other people who are also crushing it. And th- like I, I'm just the guy who built this team where I know what you need and I'm either going to help you or get the other person to help you. So it's 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 basically that. Um yeah. Yeah, and, and credit to your brother. Like he is incredibly smart, man. <laughs> I don't I don't yeah. praise him enough, man. He helped me so much the past like one one and a half month. I, yeah. I, I think he told you like we, we talk like all the time. <laughs> yes, yes. But but this is exactly what what, what you kind of needed with, with all the creatives because yeah. like it's also in this program like this, the more action you take, the more support you're gonna get. Like we don't take you serious before you do shit. And like you, you're gonna notice this if you if we see that you constantly show up, test, 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 and 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 do things properly, everybody's gonna take you more serious and are good. Like we're gonna like I a hundred percent guarantee my brother would have not taken as much time with you if you wouldn't have tested so many creators. It's like that wouldn't have happened. If you just ask him que- theoretical questions, but he sees you're not doing it, he wouldn't have taken this time. And yeah. this extra time just comes from your side as well, because you like he sees you're crushing it in terms of just taking massive action. So um, yeah, this is this is also like if people in the program right now watching this is an appeal to everybody. The more you do, the more help you're gonna get. It's 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 literally that. And um, I'm I'm making even more of a structure with that now with organic, where it's basically gonna be um, you you need to hit certain goals to get extra support. And um, it's basically going to be like accountability where you have to post at least, three, at least like three times a day for a couple of weeks or hit certain amount, like amount of views, et cetera, until you get extra calls, extra stuff. And I think that's also going to be like an extra push for, for a bunch of people um, to, to take more action because they're going to understand they have some other goal also that they can work on. Um, and the biggest thing is to, to experience small wins throughout the, the the journey because it is so easy to quit when you don't have those small wins when you test and it doesn't work and you test and it doesn't work and you test and it doesn't work and there's literally no win and you don't see a win in that you kind of you, you you actually do quit and um that where the chances of you quitting is higher and what what is very helpful is seeing other things as wins as well like okay i learned how to build a store great that's a win. I learned how to make it creative. Amazing. I test the product. Great. I did this. I did this. I did this. I hit the, 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 the goal of testing three pro- products this week. And with organic, it's just so easy to track as well, where it's just like, all right, I was able to post three videos a day for two weeks straight. That's good. Like per, per product, depending on like, also if, if you do it full time, three videos, not even close to being enough. Uh, for example, for your brother, we would yeah. expect at least six to six to nine videos um, every day. So um, that's going to be basically the, the the first goals for him. Um, sure. But but yeah, like you, you're going to see, ah, great. I hit this goal and I just went viral. I just did this, but I didn't even make sales. But still, I have experienced wins by taking the action. And it's just understanding that those things actually count a lot because um in the beginning, you're not going to even think in this direction, but it's going to feel like you want to rush it and want to make sales and money as soon as possible. When in reality, the goal is not hitting some number this week or this month. It's literally you you it, it, thinking back five years later, you wouldn't give a shit if it happened one week, like after you t- started a month or three months, as long as, st- as it stayed consistent, because I'm not sure if I should even bring this example, but like we basically have a person testing the same exact product as you. Maybe we're going to cut it out. But he <laughs> is getting crushed by you. He's getting crushed because like it, nothing is working for him. And he know <laughs> I, I was telling him about it and he deserves it. Like he knows exactly why it's not working because he doesn't do what you're doing. And like all the numbers are not in, on point. He like he, the, 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 all the tracking is not, not in there. Um, he like, the, all the sheets which you fill in properly, he doesn't do. All the creatives which you just tested, he didn't do. And the reason for that was almost like one of the first products he tested, he tested it and it just worked like this, the, the product, it worked insane. He didn't, like he literally didn't feel like the need to do anything. And it felt like drop shipping is a passive business. I don't have to do shit. And then when it started to do become extra work, he was like, wait, 
I, I I'm confused. What's going on here? <laughs> and um, it, it it didn't like it didn't fit this narrative. And in general, my argument is rather see success slow than fast. Because if you have something like this, it's gonna be like what you said with with starting to chill after starting to make money. It's gonna be much 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 faster. And also your expectations are gonna be different. If the first product you test is a winner, you expect the next product also to be a winner. And if it's not, you're super disappointed and you don't understand what's going on and you 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 never faced any problems. And um it, it, like it's just not a sustainable thing. So to 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 sum it up, um the the the, the first initial steps should just be like d- trying to micro step your way into profit. But it's actually gonna be a bunch of steps until the profit comes, which should be fine for 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 every beginner. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't know how how you saw this in the beginning, how it was for you, but maybe you can talk about that as well. I'm very happy that my first, like, I think we tested four products before the winner, mm-hmm. and I am really happy that they weren't a winner. Like, it sounds really weird, weird, weird to say, right? Because I know, like, the way I started to chill after starting to make like 10k a month, like, if I wouldn't have had the uh, failures before the winner, I had. I wouldn't have done shit. Like I would yes. have just like, <laughs> awesome. I'm making money here every day. Go to the beach. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> so so in some way, I'm I'm happy that my first few products wasn't a winner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. Now in ret- retrospect, um, do you think like do you do you, do you understand more and more why this product is good? Yeah. Or what about it is good? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like the product is just good because it's something in this niche that like everybody needs. It's just a cool product in some way. Like that's that's the thing with this product. Like, like yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, also it fits all the criteria perfect besides yeah, being yeah, cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Like every single criteria in, in, in our sheet it basically fits every single one. <laughs> everything. Everything. Yeah. yeah. Um all right. Any other other learnings you want to share, um, or do we do we do we end it here? Uh, never stop learning and never stop working hard. Like, don't get lazy. Like Mika from the program also, like he told me this. Um, Who Mika? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been talking mm-hmm. a little bit with Mika like uh, once in a while, uh, mm-hmm. and he also told me that I should never stop learning and never stop working hard. And I was, it was very close to me stop stop working hard and and. and yeah, you could see in the sheet what happened. Yes, yes, um, yeah, amazing stuff. And like, like actually, you you can like pat yourself on the shoulder because <laughs> you you did a very very good job in, in testing like this volume of creators. And oh. I've seen, I, I, honestly, I I I know a lot of people who wouldn't have done the same thing. And um, I think this is also like this video is going to be a wake up call for those people in the program. Um, and I'm like, like a, a bunch of people. I, I've seen this so often where the, the the laziness kicks in too early and too strong. And what you're talking about right now, even though you did feel lazy, like you did the thing, the necessary things to 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 actually scale it. OK, um, now. You could have done better by testing a bunch of products as well and having like a bunch I, of I backup like structures. Maybe two true products but but yeah, yeah. so so, <laughs> so those so are definitely the things little. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. W- way too little and this yeah. is definitely <laughs> something which which needs to be caught on to um yeah. also the the whole backup structures um obviously as well um so yeah this like if if you do have the time now i would highly recommend focusing more on those things and um y- you need to actually make sure that you're doing the right thing by getting your brother to only do organic. Um, exactly. Because we need to make sure that you're covered on the main thing, which makes you the most amount of money right now. Actually, like if ev- like if everything is done, then you can start a new thing. So um, like only like I would only let him do full time organic if the main thing is um, like complete, you know? Yeah. So ideally you personally would test a bunch of products and keep exactly the same of output in terms of creatives and also do the do the do the backup structure and if you have those three things covered like if you can manage those three things then go ahead then 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 he can do organic but those three things are prioritized like yeah. it's 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 more important so so that's just something to 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 keep in, in mind yeah sure um any any questions you have 
No, nah, not really. I just wanted to mention that the thing with my my brother here in uh, nice in a in a few weeks. It's gonna be very exciting. Um, I hope it's okay that he like kind of joins. For me, sure, bro, uh, bro, bro, bro. Yes. So you're in the big so program. You, you do what you want. For sure, bro. Like <laughs> just so we can make a lot of money. Me and my brother like mm -hmm. really, really crush it. Uh, yes. Because he's yes. he's he's really good with the uh, like recording and stuff. He's always yeah. done that. So I think he will he will learn it really really yes. quickly. Nice. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna like when he joins, um, I'm gonna put a few people onto your WhatsApp group, yeah. and um, yeah. Yo, one one single question I have like mm -hmm. with doing like between fifteen and twenty percent, like how fast is it healthy to scale? Like, should I just uh, chill, chill, okay. chill, chill, okay. chill, 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 chill? Um, you can scale, um, but please get the backup structures. Okay. Like. It, it's it's like it's it's stressful to scale higher than 4k without backup okay in terms of Everything. like yeah uh, like uh, uh, pages accounts um my page is accounts? like super healthy 4.1 feedback okay. score still right right super awesome uh, agency account you have or no 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 uh i got my verified bm with the ad account on there it works to okay so great. still i would connect you with an agency account yeah. um and you should should start testing from there as well. Yeah, like Other things it, I should look out for. Well, ideally store like yeah, I, I know you tested a few times, right? But maybe test it again with the top creatives and see what happens then. On the, like on the with new structure. Yeah, that yeah. like the, the thing is like also on this like the ads, like every single creative has like a zero point seventy five CPC, so it only works with the highest conversion rate. Like that's the. The reason why it still works so good. Mm. Um and with a high AOV. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. So that's why the backup structures doesn't really function because the CPC is higher on those accounts because it's you know, brand new, right? Well, okay, but it's still leave it like be a little bit tolerant there. Like it's make it makes okay. sense. It's like a test, you know? Like you can leave okay, it. Okay, so just like fifty bucks a day, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, yeah. For sure. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna do that. Okay. Okay. And if you if you do have like maybe even tried running this on organic, um, you can also do that on organic. It bro, works. we we have a guy. He made forty k with seventy percent margins in one month. <laughs> <laughs> um, seven percent conversion rates on organic, which is just unheard of. Like those guys. Like if you ask Mikey what his conversion rates are, it's like zero point zero three. There's zero point zero two. Yeah, something yeah, like yeah. really really low. Seven percent. Uh, now that you have the um, you have the influencer connections in your niche, uh, I would also start like if you see potential and if we see potential in a product um, which is no proven concept at all, yeah, you still can test it. Ah, uh, yeah, because because it, now yeah. now you can get the creatives. Yeah, yeah, the, like the the, the 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 data is there. Um, you just get the creatives, and if the if the criteria are met, the rest doesn't matter, right? So it's yeah. the criteria. So obviously, yeah. proven concept is is gone, but still. Um, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense because of the pixel as well. And mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Probably you need one more person um, to help you out in general because the whole like how how um, time intensive is it to talk to all the influencers? I spend maybe like it's. The influencers I'm working with now are not such a pain in the ass as the other ones I was working with in the past. These are like pretty good. Uh, mm. And if we set like a date, they will actually uh, have created it at the date we we like we agree on. Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. So I spend maybe like thirty minutes a day, maybe, uh, mm -hmm. talking with them. So it's not that bad anymore. Okay. I don't know um, if that's too much. <laughs> so, well, no, that's fine. 30 day minutes a day. But including the video editing, including like t keeping uh, up with editing. testing all the I, I, I am, yeah, yeah. That's, I think I'm going to need an editor at some point because I spend well, maybe no, like. That was the point. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I spend maybe like four and a half hours a day on just creating creatives. That's too much. I also um, script writing for new creatives and stuff like that. But, but like four and a half well, hours. Script oh, including script writing. Yeah, yeah, some yeah, maybe five hours with script writing. Yeah, yeah. Well, script writing you should keep doing. Yeah. Um, editing you should not keep doing. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna find somebody from the program. Um, who who maybe has like extra spare time to do this. Like either either that or somebody from your friends. You just teach teach them how it should look, etc. 
Um, that was my my you, idea you to have, like maybe somebody pay mind? like yeah yeah I got I got one dude I uh, maybe like pay him like five hundred a week and he will like create some mm. creators maybe hopefully five hundred a week. Uh, think in the normal world if it's a friend think in the normal world you're paying him 2k a month for four hours a day of work is that a lot is that normal is, oh, is that's, that norm- that's crazy. a lot that's in your crazy country high. yeah that's crazy high. yeah so <laughs> yeah so <laughs> you know what i mean it's it's not you paying for feedback score influencers it's not like it's a normal job so um <laughs> so, so, so you giving him 1k 1.5k max per month um for four hours a day that's that's more realistic yeah that makes sense yeah I'm, I'm probably gonna gonna ask him and try to teach him um, he has done some editing in the past i don't know how good he mm-hmm. is now but i don't I, think it's going to be very difficult to get him to you to 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 what you're doing exactly exactly it's not it's, you know it's just putting in it, clips and putting over voice so it's not that hard but <laughs> yes 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 uh, as long as you have the storyline all of those things it's fine yeah exactly but, i'm still making that for him so he just has to mm-hmm put in clips to so, matches you know, start with that like yesterday as soon as possible i i would personally do it like this you pay him a hundred like 1k a month plus he gets a commission for every video which you approve without any changes yeah that, that makes sense? sense yeah yeah so yeah, yeah, yeah. so the commission so on video it, editing yeah. yeah so he will create better videos those those are the best commissions uh, maybe yeah. like 20 euros 15 euros something like that because if yeah. he if he puts in volume um where every approved video is going to be is going to be um a bonus for him and you see how much it is um but but ideally like we we have a similar thing where it's um in some cases even minus if it's not approved so yeah. it's plus and minus in the basically if he's good he gets more and if no then he only gets one k yeah that so, makes sense um, so just th- think about what what makes sense for you uh, with your budget yeah. and with the amount of clips you get, etc. And um, do that today. Like literally call him now after yeah. this. Yeah, I'll, I'll 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 call him and, and and ask if he's up for it. The biggest change is when you start stop doing active work for your business and you start doing like the the the, the bigger level things because yeah. editing a video, even though it's super productive for your business, you don't have to do it. And that's kind of the second level. And like later on, you you give the script writing because you see it's teachable. You see you only taught it to you means yeah. that you can take it to the next person. It's nothing. Yeah, exactly. Not witchcraft. So exactly. Um, as long as you understand that it's teachable and you you scale this the right way, because I like I would actually get full time people um, to, to to help you um, with those things. Because you need it. Like you you do need to test more creatives and you do need to test more products while yeah. keeping the output of the creatives. Yeah, that's that's that, that's the main issue right now is mm-hmm. finding and testing new products while keeping this up. Because if yeah. I don't keep this up, like the saturation is coming to bite me in the ass sooner. So yeah, that's the that's the annoying part. Um yeah. so you would actually say I should hire like at least one full time helping me? Um, well, first start with, start with a creative guy, see how he, how he is, um, part-time for 1k plus commission and, um, yeah, show him that there is potential to get to maybe like calculate it depending on how many videos you, you, you make, but show him it's possible to make this, like have the same amount of work, which is like four, four hours, but if he's really good um pay him maybe like 1.7 1.8k something like that that's the kind of the top amount of commission he can get so divide that by the videos you make etc um but yeah basically yeah that's that's it so he, he like that and then also tell him hey i'm gonna even hire like I'm, I'm gonna pay you even more if we do the same with scripts so it's very important just to show the potential and also be honest with the potential like I, i've seen this in the beginning for me i started hiring i didn't know what i'm doing and I didn't, I, I also didn't give them, I didn't show them that there's potential to make more. And yeah. um, that kind of fucks everything up. So you need to show him exactly how much this, the, the scale is going to be. If he do is, if he have, do, is doing everything perfect, which is not that hard. Um, he makes X. If he's doing the minimum, he makes Y. And yeah. um, also he, you show him, all right, you're going to get another, let's say 50 euro bonus per script approved or something like that. Um, 
and you're going to get another bonus for videos which well, did really well from your script you know something like that where you know how much like how much value you're you, you are getting from that so yeah. it's worth it to, to 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 pay something for that and then you do that and at the same time you start testing new products um by yourself and then you get another person to test products for you and then that's the, that's the end goal so <laughs> we can is. work a few hours day and make hella money <laughs> that's 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 the next step yes yeah for sure bro okay that makes that makes awful lot of sense um mm -hmm. yeah i'm gonna get started right away but yeah for everybody watching if you're interested click the link below sign up for a call with me we're gonna find out if everything's a good fit if yes we're gonna start if no then not and um again i hope this whole thing is kind of an in an indicator or a little taste of what you will have to do because you see it's not easy you see it is not easy test a, like a couple of products even if it does work after that to maintain good numbers it's not gonna like this is the whole thing is not passive all right get the get the idea of passive income out of your head in the first year of business just forget about it later on you like it's it's possible by outsourcing but get get it out of your head for the for the, at least first year so yeah um i will talk to you guys hopefully very soon and that's that